Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C++ Programming Series. Our topic for today is about the for statement counter with summation. Okay, let's proceed with the top. I've already created the folder lecture 15 and under the source files, you can right click on it, then point to add, then click new item. And then we're going to replace the name source.cpp into sandata underscore from prog to underscore lecture 15. Then let's click add. Afterwards, it was been created. Then we can go to magnifying to 200 so that you can see it clearly. So we have sharp include io stream or pound include io stream using namespace rcd. So we have integer main and then we have begin and end and this is the body. Now let's have the declaration which is also initialized as zero so the data type is integer the variable name is kabuuan and the value of kabuuan is equal to zero that's why it is declaration with initialization next we have the for statement so we have here, so integer bilang, which is, uh, it's also a declaration inside of the for statement. Bilang is equal to two, then we have bilang is less than equals to 100, less than equals to 100, and then we're going to add the computation and the computation is something like we're going to add 2 every time and then it is considered to be true for the the for statement after that we're going to use the variable kabuuan and we're going to add the counter which is uh, bilang okay and then we're going to display the output And then after displaying the output, we have C out all of the sum number is kabuuan and then end line. And then we're going to have the execution or termination phase, which is return zero. So let's check out what would be the output of this by clicking debug and start without debugging all of the sum number is 2550 that's all for today thank you and good luck